guys, welcome back to Game Room Theater. That's kind of neat, got my logo spinning on the holographic fan. Anyway, this video is going to be about a major upgrade in the projector department. As you can see, my old projector, the Optoma UHD 65, which has served us really well for the last couple of years, is sitting out here on the ping pong table. And we have a new resident in the theater room. And let me go to it now. It is the JVC NX5. Let me just show you guys. And here it is, sitting on a shelf in the back nook where the old projector used to be. It was in the ceiling on that mount there. This thing is just massive. And I just said I've got a massive upgrade. I mean that literally as well. I mean, this thing weighs almost 50 pounds. It feels like a legit, uh, legit projector. I mean, I'm filming this and on camera, it's just not going to translate too well. But trust me when I say this, I mean, you can look up the dimensions of this thing. But like again, it weighs 50 pounds. It's, uh, it, it's very large. So account for that if you're going to consider this uh, projector. So what is this? This is the NX5, which is just below the NX7 and then the top of the line NX9 in this in this line anyway. So this is the entry level model that JVC has got. So resolution wise it's 4096 by 2060 uh, pixels and it's got a 17 element all glass lens. Amazing, amazing native 4K resolution. You know, real high quality glass so the focus is just very tight from edge to edge when you project it. So brightness wise, it's 1700 lumens with a contrast ratio of about 40,000 to one, but the dynamic contrast ratio is uh, 400,000 to one. You know, that dynamic contrast ratio you gotta take with a grain of salt because uh, a lot of different uh, companies have a different measuring stick for that. Now for the game changer part on why this is in my theater room, First of all, what is HDR, which is high dynamic range? It basically allows more color variations, deeper blacks, brighter brights, etc. Just to get what you see on screen as close to reality as possible. The problem that has existed with projectors, including my old UHD 65, is just how it handles HDR. You see, HDR demands the hardware to have a lot of brightness. And to achieve a decent effect, you need basically 600 nits or more. A nit is how much light one candle puts out. However, most home theaters fall in the 100 to about uh, 200 nit category, which is nearly not enough, theoretically, to gain the benefit of HDR, which is why a lot of upconverting 4K projectors just simply cannot handle the metadata properly, and as a result, HDR is very dark. So JVC, however, has a complex method to circumvent this with a lot of backend processing called HDR Auto Tone Mapping. So JVC released Frame Adapt HDR back in October 2019, which added dynamic tone mapping to their native 4K projectors, which on a frame-by-frame -frame or scene-by-scene -scene, uh, basis optimizes brightness, uh, color, and detail. To do this mapping properly, you need to know how much light is coming off of the screen and need specialized equipment to measure that. But in JVC's latest firmware updates, you now have theater optimizer. Uh, you see, each projection home theater environment is different as each projector is different. Image brightness varies from system to system and, and changes over time as the bulb dims, etc. So JVC's new theater optimizer is a smart function that addresses these differences. So theater optimizer allows you to input the screen size and gain information which varies depending on the theater design and then calculates the installation information such as lens uh, zoom position and lamp conditions and other settings. It then automatically adjusts the projector for the best tone mapping and brightness setting. By adding this function to frame adapt HDR, JVC allows each user, user to basically enjoy HDR10 content uh, matched to the viewing environment without complicated manual adjustments. Alright guys, so let me let me conclude with some final thoughts. Was it worth it? Absolutely worth it. Keep in mind the Optoma UHD 65 has a street price of about 
2500 bucks US and the NX5 has a street price of about $6000 US. So, you know, is it worth spending that much more uh two or three times more and what are you getting in return? So the answer to that is it it in my situation it makes absolute sense. I've got a blacked out theater back cave basically and um very li very little to no ambient lighting and in this space the contrast really 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 excels and uh and and made a huge impact on the picture quality that's being displayed um i would even say forget about the resolution the fact that this is native 4k versus you know you you'll see a lot of uh, up converting projectors in the thousand fifteen hundred dollars to two thousand dollar range, they do a fantastic job. I'm sitting I'm sitting nine feet away from the screen, so I'm in a roughly in a, approaching the sweet spot of 4K where your eyes can resolve the detail. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, with this native 4K and an up converting 4K, especially the UHD 65, it was such a minor difference in detail that I wouldn't even consider it as a, as a game changer. So, you know, look at it, look at the specs from a, from a holistic perspective in a dedicated theater space, in my opinion, with all of the other little odds and uh, bits and pieces that make uh, the projector and the, and the image sharp as it is, you, you've got to give credence to contrast ratio. And JVC is just a, is just a, a leader in a league of its own when it comes to contrast ratio. And that was the biggest difference for me and the way that it handles HDR. So right now, this is a great example of ambient lighting. As you guys can see, uh, the uh, black bars on top and the bottom, um, they're not, uh, they're not black. And this projector would be a complete waste of money in a family room or a room where you've got ambient light hitting the screen or, or coming in from the side of the, uh, uh, from the side and, and washing out the screen completely not worth it. You might as well get a cheap up converter and you'll be just as happy and you can spend the balance of the money on other equipment. But, uh, uh, in a dedicated space, you, you know, look into this. If you guys can put it on your list or or somehow demo it in a proper legitimate room, I would say absolutely take a look at it. And if you don't have the luxury to do that and you've you've saved up and you've got a budget for it, hands down this is a fantastic projector. So uh NX5 from JVC. I got this from let me just let me just step outside. Uh so you guys can have a little bit of a change of scenery. So I got this projector from East Porters. So if you're located in Canada, do give these guys a shout. Very, very helpful. The gentleman that helped me out, uh, his name is Gary. I'll have a link in the description with information on how to reach him and uh, East Porters website. Again, very knowledgeable, either via phone or email. They'll go back and forth, get you additional details. They'll ask specific questions about your environment to help you out not just to upsell you but to help you out with what fits uh what to basically get the most bang out of out of your buck on uh whatever you may be asking for so anyway guys uh beyond that i will be doing another video uh shortly here more focused on lighting i get a lot of questions on uh what the setup is how i control it and all of that uh so this is being shot about 10 days before New Year's and I'm going to be planning a lockdown family party and because it's just us I went over the top a bit in terms of lighting as you can see so I'll be doing a video on that and controlling it with DMX controllers and a mini light show I'm going to impress the kids but uh, anyway guys uh, do subscribe to me uh, for that video along with uh, check me out on Instagram on Instagram, I usually try to post every few days just some usual shenanigans of different things going on. I did one on recreating the 20th Century Fox intro. I think that turned out really well. just did that a couple of days ago. So do check me out, Game Room Theater. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Till the next one. Take care.